Good Morning Kenora is made possible by proud supporters like Swift Cash, who support public television in Kenora. Yes, yeah. good morning. Good I'm going to tell you, I am like <laughs> bouncing in my chair right now because I am super excited. Today is the day. I have been talking about this so all true. week for a couple of weeks <laughs> yep. that we have Paige Duke yes. from uh, CMT's Sweet Home Alabama with us in the studio today. I am so Yay. stoked. Welcome. Thank you. Thank I am, you. They, they've been making fun of me because <laughs> I am, as everyone knows, they Jersey Shore and that P. Uh -huh. Diddy, DJ, whatever, no, no, Polly DJ Polly D. Polly Polly D. See, <laughs> even Paige knows. <laughs> DJ D. Polly D. But there we go. Everyone knows Paige. that I'm the geek with the, um, the Bachelor Bachelorette. Mm -hmm. So for anyone that doesn't really quite know, Sweet Home Alabama is sort of like the country version of a Bachelorette. Yeah, it is. It's based off the movie uh, Reese Witherspoon was in Sweet mm -hmm. Home Alabama, and she's torn between a city and a country guy. So I'm the Bachelorette, and I started out with 11 country guys and 11 city guys. <laughs> and they wow. were quite uh, diverse. Yeah. You could quite yeah. tell the difference between them. <laughs> Mainly because of the cowboy hats yeah. and everything. <laughs> cowboy hats and then the hairspray for yeah, the they, city guys. Yes, yes there is. <laughs> Waxing there. their eyebrows. <laughs> it, it, was, it, it was quite funny to watch. Chris. They have a pretty <laughs> face. You have a comment about pretty that? Pretty face like you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes. I'm and a city mean, guy. You mean the pretty boys. The pretty boys. All <laughs> oh, the pretty boys are so good. <laughs> nice guys. So Paige, I want for everyone to know, like, how did you actually get into this? Okay, so this was the third season. They uh, called me and asked me if I wanted to be The Bachelorette, but I was on the second season as well. Basically, I watched the first season because a guy I went to college with was on it. And I was like, oh my gosh, we went to college. He's this bachelor on this show. And so it um, turns out our bachelor for a second season was the guy I knew from college. And I was like, this is not fair. I don't, I know we're just friends. <laughs> I do not want to kiss this guy. <laughs> so <laughs> we turned out being just friends and um, I made it five out of eight episodes or so. And then they said, well, we'd like you to come back. I was like, you know, that's a little more my style. I was always taught the guys pursue the girl, and here we are, 22 girls chasing one guy. And I'm like, that is desperate. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I went on a show and uh, had so much fun. I'm so excited. It was a crazy experience, and I just, it's, it's so fun seeing how even, I know you're a big Bachelorette fan, seeing how it works from the other side and just having that knowledge. I was like, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> so tell us all, because you know what? Like, I, I do, and I watch mm -hmm. these shows. And me and you were talking a little bit beforehand and everything, and it's just kind of like, I don't know, like how do you, how do you do it? Like, was it fun? Like, is it, is it, um, like obviously you did find real yeah. love, which we'll find <laughs> out tonight who she picked. So it has come down to mm -hmm. basically, which, which I kind of find find funny because a city guy, which is Jeremiah, uh -huh. and the well, country no, guy. Oh no, he's a country guy too. Oh, see, okay, see, that's what I was confused about because mm -hmm. I'm thinking. He's a farmer. Yeah. I guess he's not really. Like, not <laughs> I love really. this. She still went she for the country it. guy. She still went for the country the guy. The country but but then you went for the country guy, and then you went for the cowboy. country guy. Yeah. Like okay. The cowboy. So a lot. He's okay. You're right. Jeremiah is the first country guy on the show not to be from the South. I'm right. from the South. Everybody associates that with South, but he's from Minnesota and a farmer, and that's like just as country as anywhere else, I oh guess. Yep. <laughs> just like y'all people up, you know, up here. You, Simple. You love the simple being outdoors lifestyle. And so down to Jeremiah, who's a farmer and musician from um, Clarissa, Minnesota. And then Bubba is from Geneva, Alabama. And he's the cowboy rancher. And so we'll he, find out tonight. Um, you guys, like seriously, he is your, <laughs> your ultimate cowboy. Mm -hmm. He fits he every is. stereotype, like the rugged, like the... Uh, yeah, like, man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you love him, don't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say it. Well, I mean, I it was the, well mm, and this is the thing: is like nobody knows because mm -hmm. um, um, Paige has is kind of Paige is up here actually 
uh, f with Kruger Farms. That's yeah. who she works for in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And they are big sponsors with uh, Gussie, yep. Jeff Gussison. Oh, cool. Yeah. So this is how we all kind of became connected yes. because yeah. they've come up to go ice fishing <laughs> with Gussie. Um, <laughs> and she was scared <laughs> to death to last death night because she was walking mm. on planks. To get out on the ice, we went fishing. I caught a walleye, so Gussie yeah. took us out there. But yeah, I got hooked up with Kruger Farms, started working with them in August, and we're an outdoor outfitter, and we sponsor Gussie in the FLW tour. And so uh, he brought us up. We just decided to take a trip to go fishing. It's been planned a while. Happened to fall on the finale date, and Tracy's sweet enough to let us have a party tonight at Casey's. Um, we'll be there about seven. So. Got to come out to Casey's Bar and Grill. Yeah. It's going to be so much so fun. What, well, how, and the radio station was great enough to do some kind of a contest. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a contest winner. So we're going to do the show, watch uh -huh. the show. All the shows are going to be on all the TV. And then afterwards, we're going to have some live entertainment. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We're trying to do the whole country theme. And the biggest thing is, <laughs> is that it is still a surprise because nobody knows. Mm -hmm. It's a top secret. But her... The man that won her heart <laughs> on Sweet Home Alabama yeah. will be here tonight as well. It'll be our first time in public together. Well. Uh, yeah, it's so exciting. Good to mm -hmm. be up here. I know I have so many friends in Canada that write on my Facebook or tweet me about watching the show. So I'm like, I, I didn't know y'all watch country music television <laughs> up here. <laughs> so that's exciting. But we're going to be here. And like you said, I did fall in love. And I didn't expect it to happen on a show. You go on a show. Nobody's right. like, I'm going to fall in love. The producers are going to find my soulmate. No, you just, it's a good experience I went on. Did happen to fall in love, and he's here, and nobody knows who he is, so he's hiding out all day. But uh, nice. <laughs> he's going to come out tonight and mm -hmm. right after the show. But even if you haven't been <coughs> keeping up with the show or watching it, it's still fun to come out. It's fun mm -hmm. to be there sitting with someone who's on the show you're watching, and of course you can laugh at me when I'm kissing the guys because that's awkward. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> makes me blush. But uh, you, it's you know, I get to tell you what what happened behind the scenes. It's it's a cool thing to do to find out how reality TV works. So we're just gonna have a good time. I'm we sure. are. Awesome. We have are. a few drinks and <laughs> and then some live entertainment. Yes, we're gonna introduce them to a couple of new ones because um, we don't have the Miller High Life, which is another big sponsor mm -hmm. for your thing. So we're gonna get you into some good old. Maybe whiskey? Okay. Canadian whiskey? <laughs> Canadian we, whiskey, we do yes. Have, oh, but, um, yeah. I can't turn that down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 you know what? It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to yeah. be a lot of dancing and everything. And, you know, it's, it's so funny because I've watched clips and I've watched the show. And you are, like, so cute. Aww. And you can meet, you know, me and a couple of girlfriends are sitting there. We can tell. And it's like, I was just saying on our way over here that she reminds me of, like, sort of Paula Abdul and American <laughs> Idol that... You know, she's with some of these guys, and she's going like, oh, well, you know, you just, I just fall in love with your laugh every <laughs> more, more, every time. It's like, time. what can I say? And I'm going like, you're like Paula Abdul, that they could be the worst of the worst, and she would say, man, that's a nice necklace. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes and, you're and like, you what giggle do I say so to this? much. Yeah, it's when so I have cute. nothing to talk about, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's every day of this show with you two. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, <laughs> but we're so man. much fun. So yeah. what has been, like, besides meeting mm -hmm. the um, man of your dreams, mm -hmm. what has been, like, the most rewarding experience about this? Um, I guess just seeing how everything works, how reality TV works and all, and then walking away with all these friendships, even the guys I didn't choose, we still text and talk on Facebook and tweet each other, and it's just, it becomes like a Sweet Home Alabama family. I keep up with the girls from season two, and then now I have all these new guy friends, and so it's just so much fun, and then the dates we got to go on, very southern dates mostly, uh, in the swamps in Louisiana to go alligator hunting, just all these experiences that I wouldn't have got to do otherwise. Nice. And so this is, this is like, um, uh, the weird thing for me too is because like you're beautiful oh, thank and you. you're very ladylike <laughs> yet you are actually really quite the tomboy like you love getting in there with them gators <laughs> yes and you can work a bow and arrow and like wow like she's like like yeah. crocodile dundette like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was one of, one of three girls. And <laughs> I get it. <laughs> yeah, don't explain. Yes. But <laughs> my I'm dad sorry. just raised us like boys. I wanted to be able to do everything the guys could get to, could do. And then getting the job with uh, KrugerFarms.com as their spokesperson. We're an outdoor outfitter, but then we get to bring clients of ours hunting and fishing and all that fun stuff. And I was like, 
this is perfect. And it just set me up even more. They taught me how to shoot a bow, and I go on the show and get to do all this fun That's guy awesome. stuff. <laughs> yeah, it is. And it was, like, so, yeah. like, she kicked butt. Like, it was, like, and, like, you, like t seriously, she's in these nice, beautiful Dress. lace dresses. And then she, <laughs> she takes out the bow. Hair, and she bullseyes it. It's, like, it's yeah. like awesome. It's, like, you're fast becoming, like, a hero of mine. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, okay, I, when I go out in public or something and guys are there, they're like, are, is your name Paige? I was like, yeah, it's happening at Super Bowl. And they're like, oh, I watch your show. I, I mean, my girlfriend watches your yeah. show. So <laughs> y'all can just sit there and be quiet, but we know you're watching it too. Uh, you know what, and that's all, yeah, that's, that's yes. oh, yeah. the best you know, As soon as the last City Boys is on. <laughs> you're like, I'm not watching yeah, this anymore. Yeah. Solidarity for the City Boys. <laughs> Man. Well, Paige, you know what? Um, I, I'm, I wish we could have like the whole show with you and everything, but I have to share you, uh -huh. unfortunately. <laughs> but we do have great other sponsors. We have the Thistles coming up, yes. okay. and we have Chris from Dog's Life coming up. Yes, indeed. So thank you very much for coming thank on the show. And for everyone, please, if you want to get to know Paige, if you want to come and see her, be at Casey's tonight for around 8 o'clock for the season finale of Se Sweet Home Alabama. See who Paige picks, either Bubba or Jeremiah, and then yeah. let's rock out or and have Chris. some. Or Chris. Yeah, or Chris. Yeah. I'm yeah. In. yeah. Yeah. You know Chris what? Might just step let's, in. <laughs> let's rock out and have some great time. And for right fun. now, we will be right back after this break. Awesome. Bye. Proudly supporting local TV since 1966. Shaw TV. Wind & Water Interiors is a proud supporter of Good Morning Kenora and public television. From brand name window coverings, design services and cabinetry to furniture and accessories, they're bringing style back to life. Wind & Water Interiors. Lake of the Woods Insurance is a proud supporter of public television. For all of those unexpected challenges you may face in the workplace, Lake of the Woods Insurance can be there to help you. Lake of the Woods Insurance, where customer satisfaction is insured. In a world of fear, what they needed most was each other. Here comes the monster. The Tickle Monster. <laughs> Just imagine what a little time can do for your family. <laughs> From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. <laughs> Good Morning Kenora would like to thank Bestway Rentals and Sales for supporting public television. They've got air conditioning systems and aqua lily pads for the summer, heaters, heavy equipment rentals, and more. Bestway Rentals and Sales. Good Morning Kenora would like to thank Swift Cash for supporting public television. There's so much more than cashing checks and payday loans. They offer a wide range of other services, from parcel pickup and delivery to comic books, Swift Cash, and so much more. We're here with uh, Doug Novak and some thistles. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Excellent. Ah. So we, we were looking at the paper, and uh, you guys read the front cover there. It's pretty nice. So, uh, <laughs> so you guys are doing uh, really well this season. And uh, what's, uh, what's going on with you guys? Well, we just went uh, last weekend to Thunder Bay and played Thunder Bay for the Brands Championship. Yep. And, uh, we ended up beating them in uh, the third game. We ended up winning two games. They ended up winning one. So now we represent our area and we go to the Western Regionals in Verdun, Manitoba. That's fantastic. That's awesome. That's really fantastic. When was the uh, can I ask? When was the last time you guys have actually made it this far? Like, is it, this is so this is pretty new, eh? Yeah. Uh, in 26 years, the team's been. Uh, they've won it twice. Wow. wow. 11 years ago was the last time they won it. So no pressure, guys. Absolutely. You know what the best thing is? You guys got better record than the Leafs. And so. <laughs> yeah, but apparently that's not hard to do. No. <laughs> Chris, Chris, look at the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> so now when do you guys go to Verdon? We go on March 29th. Okay, and then so when you kill them... What is the next step after that? The next step is the national championship in uh, Alberta, Leduc, Alberta, 
in April, end of April. Excellent. Well, that's very, very good. So How do you guys prepare? You just like, to prepare for stuff like this. Do you guys do extra games? Do you just lots of extra practice? How's the how's the training going? Uh, yeah, we practice about three, four times a week with a uh, spin class in it. Uh, normally two games uh, in a weekend, so uh, it's definitely a lot throughout the year, but uh, definitely worth it after you win something like that. Absolutely. You guys are both uh, high school and yeah. Uh, yeah, we are. How does that how does that factor in? You guys are, um, with your school just take the time off. I mean, this is a big opportunity, so you guys are balancing pretty pretty well. I uh, like our schoolwork. I don't know. I'm I'm tending not to do as much schoolwork. <laughs> 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 honest. Hundred <laughs> percent honest. Whenever yeah. I have like a chance with the computer, I usually just like look up the stats of like the opponents' teams and just try and stay tuned and. Yeah. So now with the teams that are coming up, because it, it's been such a long time that you guys have actually made it to this point, are you following more of their stats? Like, are they, uh, what's the caliber of the players that you're going to be playing compared to, like, are you worried about that, or does that factor into anything, or? Uh, well, we know two of the teams. Uh, we played the Wild and uh, Southwest all year, so uh, at least we know what these teams are about. We beat uh, Southwest twice, lost to them in a shootout once, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we stack up pretty good against them. So. Oh, that's awesome. Great. How many teams are going to the... Uh, the There'll league? be four teams. So there's uh, Southwest is the host team. Yep. And then Winnipeg Wild won the Manitoba League. We won HNO and then the uh, winner of the Saskatchewan League, and they're still going on. It's between Prince Albert and Saskatoon Contacts right now. Oh. And the Contacts are up two games to one. They play tonight, game four. Wow. Oh, that's well, awesome. It is pretty awesome. I think, well, it's exciting for Kenora too to see uh, you know, long, uh, you know, standing hockey tradition and stuff. So this is this is good for you guys to get out there. And that's the thing. The one big thing for us is we're doing a car washer, car wash fundraiser on Saturday at ten to two at Darewa. So if any, if everyone can come out and support us, we'd appreciate it. Okay, absolutely. And we'll throw that up on our Facebook page, which is Facebook backslash Good Morning Kenora, and we'll put up the. Uh, We'll put up the dates and for the car wash and help you guys show you as much support for you guys as possible. Uh, is there anything else like in the preparation? Um, I mean, all this trip up hunting, it's it's all through you guys, right? Like it's yes. Do you uh, say you have a sponsor, Jarnell, sponsor your team? And yeah, they sponsored the jerseys, uh, our our away jerseys, and a uh, lot. Actually, we have so many businesses to thank in our community for supporting us through the whole year. I think we're over. We have over 28 sponsors for wow, the season, wow. so That's awesome. our community is great for to support the hockey club. Yeah, absolutely, that's fantastic. That's really, really good. So you guys are all. Um, you know, any other events? You got your car wash. Is anything else coming up before you guys go? Not really, because we do the car wash while well, we practice Friday night, and then we car wash Saturday, practice Sunday, practice Tuesday, and then head out on the road Wednesday. Wow. And then they got to do some school work in between. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need the GPA. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, that's fantastic. That's, I mean, that's, that's a lot of dedication. Guys, uh, you know, thanks for representing Kenora and uh, yes. really uh, putting uh, the nose to the grind so we can get this done. You guys are going to win. I mean, that's... Yeah, we are, because you, you guys have been... Uh, well, like, that, that is quite the accomplishment. Like, seriously, it, Absolutely. it's pretty amazing. You guys must be totally proud of yourselves and totally stoked. And, and uh, so what do you guys... How do you guys, like, prepare for, like, do you... Do you get jitters? Do you can you not sleep at night? Like, are you guys? I, I personally lose a lot of sleep like during like pre game, pre like pre night sleeps I guess. Uh huh. Like all you think about is like what's gonna happen the next game, what you're gonna do, and like how it's gonna match up, how you guys are gonna match up, really. And do you guys have any weird sort of? Um, Superstition. Yeah, yeah, like you know, have you guys changed your socks all year, or you know, you hear some of these? Yeah, we got some weird ones. <laughs> <laughs> Us as hockey players, they're just superstitions that like we kind of like live by or not, like, live live by or really. So that that really does happen. I was just kind of yeah. joking, but oh, no. that really <laughs> does that really does happen. Yeah. I play wow. I, I play soccer all year, and I have my own superstitions to play soccer. So I can imagine. <laughs> I mean, and I just play for fun. So you guys at your level, I mean, imagine that you know once you get on that ice, it's different. Once you get there, you're focused. You, you gotta get your job done. But going up, I mean, to do that, I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah. Exciting stuff. So once you guys beat Verdon or go to Verdon and win that and then go to the Nationals in Alberta 
Um, is that the last? That's it. Last. That's it. So is it like a big trophy? Is it medals? Is it like what well, kind of? What, a big what? trophy, yeah. Yeah? Well, we're going to see it because when they win it, they're going to bring it back and they, we'll put it right here. And you guys will come back on? And we can all yeah. touch it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if we win the telescope, we'll come back. <laughs> well, guys, we wish you all the best. We wish you all the luck. And make sure that you guys go out and support them on Saturday at Darewa Motors for their car wash. And thank you very much for coming on. Good luck to everyone. And we will be right back after this break with Chris and the dog play. Thank you. Proudly supporting local TV since 1966. Shaw TV. Wind & Water Interiors is a proud supporter of Good Morning Kenora and Public Television. From brand name window coverings, design services and cabinetry to furniture and accessories, they're bringing style back to life. Wind & Water Interiors. Lake of the Woods Insurance is a proud supporter of Public Television. For all of those unexpected challenges you may face in the workplace, Lake of the Woods Insurance can be there to help you. Lake of the Woods Insurance, where customer satisfaction is insured. Of all the big questions, of all the mysteries, perhaps the most perplexing one is why are we here? Every species in this world we share has an important part to play. So what is ours? Maybe it's that we are the only species with the power to protect all the species, including ourselves. Good Morning Kenora would like to thank Bestway Rentals and Sales for supporting public television. They've got air conditioning systems and aqua lily pads for the summer, heaters, heavy equipment rentals, and more. Bestway Rentals and Sales. Good Morning Kenora would like to thank Swift Cash for supporting public television. There's so much more than cashing checks and payday loans. They offer a wide range of other services, from parcel pickup and delivery to comic books, Swift Cash, and so much more. Welcome back, Kenora. We are here with Chris Mantos with Dogs Life. How are you? Good, good. Good. You have a little troublemaker there, I see. Well, well, she wasn't trouble till, <laughs> till you made the comment about uh, almost oh, liking dogs. Almost liking dogs. Well, I gotta be true. She it's heard that, so, so it she's offended so her. Is that it? She's so mm -hmm. cute, though. She's yeah. not a troublemaker. Oh. She was just excited to meet Paige as well. Come on. <laughs> yes. So true. Yes. So how are so you? Good, good. And. Who do we have with us? This yeah. is Sugar. We've had her about a week. And, uh, Aww. And, uh, yeah, she's about five months old. And what kind of dog? Yeah, what do you I think she know. is? <laughs> Mixture. Pure bread <laughs> mutt. Well, we got to know it because it's, it's a hard husky. one, right? Because yeah, she's so some, white. Yeah. Some husky, some uh, it almost looks maybe like collie. Re collie, retriever, lab. How oh. big do you think she's going to get? Any idea? Because, again, it's no. one of those things with no. anyone interested. No way. No. Eh? Like, Bigger than this, though? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She'll and be more, double. Most of the dogs right. we get, I mean, they're pretty much a mix of yeah. everything here yeah. and there. And so that's yeah. okay, though. That's my, yeah. actually, my dog is a mix of everything. <laughs> so. So, and tomorrow we're having our meet the <laughs> hounds down on the harbor front. And uh, we'll have all of our dogs there. There'll be about 16 of them there. Puppies and big oh. dogs. So, nice. from 11 to 1.30. So, if anybody... Fantastic. Would like to meet Sugar in person or any of the other dogs? They'll awesome. all be there. Sweet. She is adorable. She yeah. is. So, do you have um, any adoptions this week, last week? Or keep them yes, or? we had Duke was adopted. He never made it to the show. Good. And Ella, she didn't make it to the show. She was adopted. Well, that's okay. That's, that's good. okay. That's, that's fine. That's, really good. that's yeah. a good reason. Yes. How about uh, how about the issue you uh, you were having with uh, I believe five dogs in the pound? Are uh, we still uh, one? In the issue owner there? claim okay. we got three out, and there's still one there. There's still one left. Yes. Okay. So one more needs rescue. Yes. That's right. But so four. <laughs> no. Yeah. And how does that work with uh, dogs that are in the pound then? Because <laughs> is there a time frame um, to allow for the actual owners to come by? Yes, they have four days. They have four days, and then after that. Then we take them. You as take them, and, and then it's open for a person to either come adopt or foster. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah. four days. Four days. They usually stay longer, right. but it usually takes us longer than that to, yeah. to find them all. <laughs> 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 so, uh, Is that a camera? So, uh, <laughs> I love the camera. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love the game, bro. You know, I, Justin, that's actually just <laughs> normal. You <laughs> <laughs> totally do voiceovers for, like, animation. What are you talking about? That's my normal voice. <laughs> <laughs> So next uh, weekend, ooh, we're having nice. our social at the Curling Club. So tickets oh, are still available. Okay, and where are they Tori available? Tori Nowalski uh, at Hojo Coffee and Books, um, Taylor Made Pet in Kiwaitan, and at uh, I know, I know. Johnson's Pharmacy. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and what time does the social start? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, and yeah. is there going to be any inter entertainment? Yeah, Corey Nowalski. Oh, Corey Nowalski. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was I was going on, where can you get the tickets? And I was like, so I guess you can just get them from Corey Nowalski. You just got just to find him in town. Yeah. And he's he's, he's holding on to it. Yeah. Hunt him down. Corey. <laughs> sorry, Corey. <laughs> Bring a little clicker uh, for you. Justin, Q, click, 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 click. Wow. <laughs> See, that's what happens when I get a full cup of coffee in before right. I start the show. There you go. Well, that's uh, that's awesome. Now, um, at 8 o'clock, and it's at the Curling Club. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And so how many socials do you guys do a year? Because there's also the one that's done at the Lakeshore. Yes, so we, we normally do one in the spring at the Lakeshore, but we're just doing this one. Okay. Um, and we usually do one in the fall as right. well. So. Awesome. Yeah. Good. So, huh. Busy. Memorize questions. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> weekend stuff, weather wrap. We can yeah, do we'll some weekend stuff and weather wrap. We'll keep you on here. Yeah, of okay, course. Sure. I think we'll, that's uh, the norm. Yeah. We'll go through the uh, some of the news or some of the weekend stuff come up because it is the weekend. It is. TGIF. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Yes. It is going to be fantastic. So, and, but a couple of things news here. So, with the rain, because it is raining today, the uh, spring rain, you need a lot more. Mm hmm. Uh, just reading here that, uh, that you need to improve the water levels. Mm -hmm. You can get them up. I think with the, there wasn't a lot of snow this uh, this rain. Yeah. No. And yeah. So I mean, I've talked to a few people, that, a couple of firefighters that I know, and they're already just kind of cringing mm -hmm. a little bit because they, they're anticipating it's going to be a very very busy season for them, just because with the lack of snow and lack of rain. So hopefully, maybe in the next little while, we get a you know, we chill the summer. We have a couple of those days that I don't want to say, but don't think it's for you. Exactly, I know. Get all through the spring, you know, April yeah. showers. It's, April showers. There you go. That's, there you go. We, we could do that. Yep. And because of all the, the the weather and everything, again, can't express it enough, stress it enough. Please be careful. I wouldn't even just stay really off the go ice. on the ice anymore. Yeah. And because uh, you never, you, you don't know, and it's. So just please be careful more more than any because it, it has been more mild spring coming up. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, and uh, we, we mentioned it yesterday. There was a vehicle that went through mm -hmm. along with a trailer and snowmobiles. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, the people were fine. And then there had been another report from possibly today. There's, it's not confirmed yet, but another incident. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure we'll hear more about it, but hopefully everyone's all right with that situation as well. But and with... With spring coming up, Nippers is opening. That's right. Mm -hmm. Nippers Fresh up here in Kuwait. There oh, their, you burger, go. their burgers are amazing. Burgers, yeah. dogs. She does. And what? The uh, bag of nachos. Oh. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> so I the think nacho you guys, salad. Taco salad. Taco, taco, salad. taco, taco salad. salad. So I guess you guys do that a lot, you know? You know what? Being, no. Seeing that no. it's just so close. No. See, no. I can keep my Grudish no. figure. No. So I, uh, I try to restrict myself. To like once a day or <laughs> twice, twice a day. There you I, go. He has he has half a hot dog. Half no a hot. There you go. Speaking <laughs> 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 yeah. of weather, uh, I'm on the spot here because uh, my certificate will give her is here. So we're gonna do some weather <laughs> yeah. for the weekend. So today, Friday, we're looking at some rain. A low of 11, high of 14. Saturday is a low of 11, high of 15. Some more rain. But then Sunday, minus. And a high of five with sunshine. Ooh. Well, that's a little hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> that just made me sad. Oh, I, I like the sun, though. The sun, the sun you know, is nice. Yeah. yeah. The sun is nice. You know, it's not too bad. It's, just, it's always, in this kind of weather, it's always devious because you, you see the sun, you get up in the morning, you're like, sunshine, step out. And it's like, no, that's cold. That is winter, devious. It is devious. It's sort Very of devious. <laughs> but I just enjoy it. It's out my word for the day. You need to put the boots back yep. on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you good. devious weather, you. <laughs> <laughs> see, I looked at dictionary.com today. Pick up a word. <laughs> that was wow. actually sugar talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? We'll uh, have a good weekend. Bye. Have a great weekend. Yeah. We'll see you later. Again, and thank you, Paige you. Duke, for coming. Everybody so show much. up tonight, 8 o'clock, to see Paige and have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Take care. See you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.